Uganda has been able to produce at least 2 billion million liters of milk. But then with the challenge we have, farmers can't access the new technologies, especially in handling the milk, even adding value on their products. For instance, somebody collects milk from the cow and then you sell it as a raw milk. But with having the cow bill here in Uganda, farmers will access new technology into the dairy industry. You will access, first of all, the milking machines. You can milk your cow, you no longer want to use hands, at a cheaper price of that machine, such that you can improve on the production of the milk in this country. We have, we have these, as, as, I, as I told you earlier, we have these measuring cups. If you move around in Kampala, you will find that many people are using plastic cups, which are not even food grade, imagine. It's very hygienic. It's very hygienic. Is it clean? Is it clean? So somebody is using aluminium or the plastic cup, but now we have the aluminium here for you. We have stainless, steel. stainless steel and even the aluminium is there. Yeah. We told you all about these milking buckets. These buckets are the storage of the milk. Yeah. You keep your milk in this, in this one. It is easy to clean, first of all. It does not smell. But when you put a bucket for plastic, when you put milk, you know milk contains fats. Correct. So it will smell, and at the end of the day, you are selling a wrong product in the, in the market. You know, hygienic milk hygienic is milk the prime is motive, motive behind a company to yeah. give the good equipment so yeah. the farmers can procure hygienic uh -huh. milk. milk. We are from India. We are exhibiting as a manufacturer of milk cans, cream separators, buckets, and the dairy equipments. We are giving a special solution to the farmers, especially the small farmers, who can separate their milk with the help of cream separators and can make the butter with the help of butter churners. They can collect the products in the milk cans, aluminum, stainless steel, and uh, with the help of stainers, they can sieve the milk. And uh, it will be a good opportunity for us to help the farmers of Uganda. My name is Mario Pietro Biasi, managing director of Pietro Biasi company from, uh, from Italy. That we do dairy, dairy machine, dairy and derivate machine from uh, uh, receiving, cooling, storage, pasteurization, ESL, WHT, and also for a packing machine together with Alamsis company. And uh, so we can give a turnkey project uh, and uh, I think uh, and I believe that Africa is uh, the future market for us because you need technology, you need a uh, good quality of uh, machine that uh, you can continue to stop, you continue to work without any stop, any with performance of the machine. This is the uh, reason why we are here because I think Intel is a very big potential market for us. We could, we could, uh, also because we not supply only machinery, but we supply technology and we development together with the customer. It means that we, we learn how to do the new recipe, new product, because if the customer development, we development. Hi, this is the VK from Beijing Queen Bond Technology Company Limited. Uh, our company do the milk testing kits for, anti for dairy, we especially in antibiotics residue test, mycotoxin, pesticides, also with the veterinary drug residue. We work with the Dairy Consulting Limited. They are our good partner in Kenya. This one, BTS Dreamer, is for beta lactams, tetracyclines, softener mice, to check the antibiotics residue in raw milk, UHT milk, milk powders. Uh, we keep the milk safety for all dairy products. Protect our milk safety from farm to table. Thank you.